Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the common pump defects, their explanation and their causes. Okay, so let's start the video. So our first defect in a pump that is very common that is cavitation. Okay, and in an interview as well this question is asked frequently okay whenever like let's suppose if the interviewer asks you the question around the pump around the centrifugal pump right so the cavitation is the favorite question okay so we have already discussed in our previous videos about the cavitation okay if you haven't watched that videos you can watch okay i have discussed about the the signs behind the cavitation okay prevention from the cavitation and there are four five videos about the cavitation only okay you can watch that videos as well plus okay in short if i tell you about the cavitation what is cavitation so basically cavitation is this is your centrifugal pump and this is the suction line of the centrifugal pump this is the suction nozzle right so at the impeller i the pressure is minimum right so if in the pump suction the pressure of the liquid at that temperature goes below the vapor pressure of that liquid at that temperature so what will happen that the boiling will occur right so when the boiling will occur what will happen the vapor bubbles will form okay so that vapor bubbles will enter into the system through your impeller i right and you know that there is in a centrifugal pump there is the impeller okay that is the rotating part of the centrifugal pump and from there and from the casing the pressure increases right so when the pressure will increase what will happen that the uh, in that bubble what will happen in that bubble the force will be applied right so when the force will be applied so it will be burst up so whatever the liquid will be around that bubble it will fill that gap okay and it damages the your pump impeller and the casing okay that's why it is dangerous for the pump right okay what could be the causes so as i have explained the cause could be your low suction pressure okay whatever the required from that required it is less than that then high fluid temperature could be the reason right excessive pump speed could be the reason and inadequate suction head could be also the reason okay and what is your npsh available and npsh r that is also plays a very very important role in this matter so that's why when we size the pump net positive suction head available and required is very very important so this available is calculated by the process engineer and this required is given by the pump manufacturer so i hope you understood this defect if you have any doubt please let me in the comments box now let's see the another defect that is seal leakage okay so first of all what is the seal what is the meaning of the seal leakage okay there are multiple type of the seal leakage okay or, or we say the mechanical seal so the seal prevent fluid from leaking out of the pump leakage occurs when seal are worn damage or improperly installed leading to fluid escape okay sometimes if you select the wrong seal mechanical seal that could also be the prob problematic right so what could be the causes here worn right damage seal okay if you will not inspect so it could be damage okay incorrect installation as we have discussed excessive pressure or temperature corrosive or abrasive fluid okay so the the selection of the mechanical seal is very very important while selecting the pump also we can say the mechanical seal provides the positive pressure okay so that it prevent our fluid from leakage okay it could be primary seal it could be the secondary seal okay if you will comment me i will make the detailed video about the mechanical seal now let's discuss about the next defect and the next defect is bearing failure right so what is the bearing actually the bearing supports the pump shaft and reduce the friction okay that's 
how the that is the function of the bearing okay so if it fails so what will happen that its failure can lead to increased friction obviously overheating and eventual pump failure so that's why this defect is also very very important to consider and the knowledge of this defect is also very very important so what could be the causes the misalignment could be the cause because it support the pump shaft then the contaminated lubricants could be the another causes overloading could be the another causes and poor maintenance could be the other possible causes okay so whenever the schedule maintenance is there so pre so please check or inspect that everything is okay okay now let's see the another defect that is impeller damage right so what is the impeller in a centrifugal pump impeller is the heart of the centrifugal pump as i have in my previous videos also i have said to you that the impeller is the heart of the centrifugal pump right and it is the rotating part in a centrifugal pump right so if the impeller damage what will happen it can simply reduce the efficiency right and if it is it damage so the mechanical damage or mechanical issues can be arise right obviously if your heart will be damaged so obviously what what will happen you know that right so what are the causes here for the pump damage for the impeller damage the cavitation yes abrasive particles yes corrosion yes improper handling and installation yes and one thing also if you select the wrong pump what is the meaning of it it means that for example let's suppose there was one fluid okay there is one fluid that is your sludge okay so in that sludge obviously like you can say we are not use like we do not use the centrifugal pump it's okay but sometimes we use the centrifugal pump it depends that uh, how much solids are there in this sludge right but what happens that if you do not consider this factor if you do not consider this factor it can simply lead to damage your impeller are you able to understand what am i saying that's why whenever we size the pump it's very important now the next point is excessive vibration okay if uh, there is anyone who works in a plant okay and they operate the pump they see the pump okay they change over the pump so this problem is also the frequent problems right the excessive vibration so what could be the reason of the excessive vibration before that the excessive vibration can indicate mechanical issues okay such as imbalance right misalignment or wear in the pump components leading to further damage if not adverse okay and also if there is some leakage problems are there also in that case also the vibration could be occur okay if the some solid particles stuck in your intern in the pump then also the excessive vibration could be there okay if the some parts are loosed okay when we do the uh, assemble okay after the maintenance that could be also the reason right so what are the other causes imbalance in rotating components obviously it could be the reason misalignment okay worn bearing or coupling structural issues can you let me in the comments box what is the meaning of here the misalignment can you let me in the comments box this is a very very simple question and uh, one of my student told me that this question was asked by the interviewer to him right okay what is the next defect that is the overheating okay this problem also like comes into the picture frequently okay and the overheating is normal right whenever you are dealing some mechanical devices the overheating is general even in your ho home also you can like you use the phone you use the laptop you use the fridge okay refrigerator the overheating is a uh, normal but overheating can result from excessive friction or inadequate cooling causing damage to pump components and reducing efficiency also if you are using a only one pump right there are two pumps and you are just using one pump over the period then can also it could can also lead the overheat if there is no flow to the pump or the less flow is there then can also the overheat right if the high ampere 
is there for the pump okay somehow then can it can also lead to the overheat right what could be the causes in insufficient cooling or why uh, or the lubrication okay it depends uh, like it, it could be changed okay pump to pump excessive friction yes it could be the major reason overloading yes blocked flow fluid flow it could be the another reason right okay what could be the another your pump defects that could be reduced flow or pressure okay see this occurs when the pump cannot deliver the expected fluid volume or pressure okay it will impact the pump performance system performance so what will happen or oh, this is a huge problem right if like let's suppose if at the downstream of the pump you require some flow and you are not able to get that okay and or you require some head or the pressure you are not able to get so you will have to check the pump because it is the major defect okay so what could be the reason the first could be your clogged inlet or outlet yes it could be or the or the we can also check the walls also right and the if there is at the outlet of the pump there is the control wall we can check it out that worn impeller air entrainment yes improper priming we can also say incorrect pump speed impeller size there could be so many reasons the pump in the pump suction there could be the in the pump suction there could be the leakage okay that could be the reason right so we will have to check it out okay sometimes like if you will see in our industry we use the why sorry not why what if analysis okay from what if analysis we can check it out i hope you understood this point okay now the noise is the next pump defect okay so see you can see whenever you like if you go in a plant for the round okay you so you see that there is the unusual noises from the pump is coming okay that can indicate the cavitation right it can also indicate that bearing of seal failure okay some Thing, something like misalignment okay loose components rotating components okay air in the pump not proper priming okay so you will have to consider it seriously otherwise it can damage your pump right now very very important common defects in a pump or in the all mechanical devices that is corrosion okay so the corrosion occurs when the pump materials degrade due to the chemical reaction or due to over the time okay with the fluid or environment leading to structural failure so what will happen see for the pump okay for example if the material of the pump is cs okay ci or some other material right so there is the it is prone to the co uh, corrosion okay even if you use the ss okay so that is also the corrosion rate is very less but there will be also some time like there could be the corrosion as well right so that's why like when you size the pump we consider this factor we consider the factor right and what could be the causes the causes could could be your handling corrosive fluids yes unadequate protective coating yes environmental factor yes okay we are considering that you have purchased or you have like if there is a one pump that is we have considered the fair margin right and now it is in a plant now it we are operating that pump so you are handling the corrosive fluid okay earlier also we were handling so what could be the reason like what is the composition now that we will have to check right an adequate protective coating okay if it is damaged or if, if it is not that will have to check and the environmental factor the humidity we can also check right okay now what is the next that is the motor issues okay what is the meaning of it the motor issues means the problem with your pump motor such as the electrical fault can stop the pump from the operating effectively and cause it to overheat so we will have to also like you must have the knowledge of that or as well okay and what i like what motors you are selecting okay what is the kilowatt of that motor okay that you also you will have to check so what could be the cause the electrical faults be there okay electric failure could be there poor wiring could be there okay overheating could be there okay unadequate voltage or ampere could be there 
नेक्स्ट कुड बी योर सक्सन प्रॉब्लम ओके दिस इज समहाउ सिमिलर टू द कैविटेशन ओके एंड आई विल रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन हु एवर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज वॉच अवर पंप प्ले लिस्ट साइंटिफिकल पंप प्ले लिस्ट आई हैव मेड सो मैनी वीडियोज अबाउट द पंप्स राइट एंड ऑब्वियसली इफ यू आर अ फ्रेशर और इफ यू आर इन एक्सपीरियंस पर्सन इफ यू विल वॉच दैट वीडियोज योर नॉलेज विल बी गोज वन स्टेप अहेड okay that is my promise and if there will be some mistake you can correct me as well okay in a comments box i will definitely improve it okay so now the next is your suction problem what could be in what could be the problem in the suction obviously the air leakage could be there okay inadequate fluid supply could be there blockages could be there improper pipe design could be there that is the problem which mainly you can see in the suction also the suction problems could be your cavitation could be also there okay and vibration sometimes could be there leakage could be there so that we have to always think about it right now some we will discuss about this some preventive measures which we can take okay see what are the some preventive measures which we can take or we can also do the schedule maintenance so for example one is your regular maintenance and inspection here regular maintenance we cannot do but schedule we can do but regular inspection or we can do the round okay we can check the health regular basis or in a shift basis right then the proper installation and alignment ensure components are correctly installed and aligned to avoid unnecessary stress that point is also very very important then ensuring adequate lubrication and cooling okay maintain if you will maintain proper lubrication and cooling so it will reduce the overheating and friction okay that's why this point is also very very important don't do that you have to use some lubrication oil x lubrication oil and you are using y it can also lead to the problem okay also check the cooling medium is proper or not okay then using suitable materials for pump fluid right then monitoring and adjusting operating condition so this point is the like this is the main point okay which like the operator field operator and dcs operator has to ensure about this point right it was the around 11 common defects in a pump which we see okay if there are some other common defects which you want to discuss with us please let us in the comments box okay so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you